Welcome to Timeless Motivational Thoughts, where dreams are nurtured to fertilization. Today, we're diving into one of the most transformative books ever written on personal development and interpersonal skills, Dale Carnegie's classic book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Whether you're looking to build stronger relationships, become a better leader, or simply connect more deeply with those around you, this video is for you. So, let's get started. Dale Carnegie's principles have stood the test of time, helping countless people improve their social skills and become more influential. We're going to break down these principles into actionable steps you can apply in your daily life. Let's start with part one, fundamental techniques in handling people. Carnegie begins by emphasizing three key techniques for handling people. The first principle is, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Criticism puts people on the defensive and usually makes them strive to justify themselves. Instead, try to understand them. Let's Carnegie begins by emphasizing three key techniques for handling people. The first principle is, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Criticism puts people on the defensive and usually makes them strive to justify themselves. Instead, try to understand them. Let's imagine you have a colleague who's consistently late to meetings. Instead of criticizing them directly, try to understand why they're late. Maybe they're dealing with personal issues or have a workload that's overwhelming. By showing empathy and understanding, you're more likely to get a positive response. E mo The second principle is give honest and sincere appreciation. Everyone wants to feel valued and recognized for their efforts. A simple thank you can go a long way. Remember, appreciation must be sincere. People can sense when it's not. Picture a manager who takes the time to thank their team for their hard work. This not only boosts morale, but also encourages a positive and productive work environment. And the third principle is, arouse in the other person an eager want. To influence others, you must show them how your ideas or suggestions align with their desires. Let's see this in action. Instead of saying, you need to exercise more, try saying, wouldn't it be great to have more energy and feel healthier? By aligning the idea with their desires, you're more likely to get a positive response. Section 2. Six ways to make people like you. When you show genuine interest, people feel valued and appreciated. Ask questions, listen actively, and remember details about what they share. The second way is smile. A warm, genuine smile can break the ice and create a positive atmosphere. It's one of the simplest yet most powerful ways to connect with others. A smile can convey friendliness and approachability, making it easier to start conversations and build rapport. Third. Remember that a person's name is, to that person, the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Make an effort to remember and use people's names. Using someone's name in conversation shows that you see them as an individual and respect them. The fourth way is, be a good listener. Encourage others to talk about themselves. People appreciate those who listen to them. By being an attentive listener, you show that you care about what others have to say, fostering a deeper connection. Fifth, talk in terms of the other person's interests. Find common ground and discuss topics that the other person is passionate about. When you engage in conversations about their interests, it shows that you value their opinions and passions. And finally, make the other person feel important and do it sincerely. Acknowledge their achievements, celebrate their successes, and show them that they matter. When people feel important and appreciated, they are more likely to like you and value your relationship. Section 3. How to win people to your way of thinking. Winning people to your way of thinking involves persuading them without causing resentment. Carnegie outlined several principles to achieve this. The first one is, the only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. Arguments often lead to anger and stubbornness. Instead, seek common ground and work towards a mutual understanding. The second principle is, show respect for the other person's opinions. Never say, 
you're wrong. This approach avoids defensiveness and keeps the conversation open. By respecting their opinions, you create an environment where they feel safe to express themselves and consider your perspective. Thank you for watching. Kindly like and subscribe to our channel for weekly educative contents.